I stay earthbound. Oh. When prosperity awaits you in the stars, come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten years will feel like mere minutes. Oddly, much like Fallout 4. At least at the beginning. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Breach of Hope Security Carry on a Dynify Ship. Getting annoyed too. Genius Vernon Wells. Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Alright, so, I've already, I got a character gun, I probably played about 10 hours already, I absolutely love the game. You know, I, I don't, you know, I don't know, I don't know, it, it, there's still stuff I really gotta figure out, but, here we go. The health regeneration is fine, he goes, but in battle, that's not gonna mean anything, because you're not gonna be able to sit there for, they'll kill you before you regenerate. So regenerating is just after battle, so you just gotta make sure you don't go straight into battle afterwards, so, I'm gonna keep that there. Screw it. Uh, finally, fine. someone I can have a conversation with. Okay, screw it. That's what I'm just gonna do. Okay, melee. Subtle okay. and discreet. Exactly what I need. Okay. And uh, my aptitude, so I get a little extra here. We're gonna go with that one. At least you know the value of money. I can persuade. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. Um, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. Okay, here. Hmm, that's probably not gonna look anything like her, but this is the best I can do. Um, with a very limited... Because her hair was a little bit more crazy. And the colors are terrible in this, by the way. They're just really bad. See, they're just like... There really is no true color to them. So, I want a redhead. There we go. We'll go six. People, that's... This is gonna be Saffron Firefly. Or I'll just might name her Saffron. <laughs> Alright, I just wish I could make her tits bigger, because it's supposed to be Christina Hendricks. I'm good. Come on, get you, get your Looks piping on. Looks a lucky day, my friend. Now hurry up, get your Metamucil ass going. That's it. Likely bootlickers. Bootlickers. Uh. Initiate skip jump. That's pretty cool. That's the second time I saw it, still enjoyed it. Alright. Status. Structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down. <sighs> shit. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Hey, what's up, man? Don't be touching my boobies. The gameplay I'm doing by myself. <laughs> by myself. I'm a dude. But whenever I do gameplay, ah, it's always a There check. you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. Yeah, okay. This means that you and every other colonist on Alp have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death. Oh, can't wait for that. Liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes. Well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. 
I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Just been blown my nose for like five minutes. That doesn't vote well in confidence in jamming on buttons. <laughs> Someone can jam on my buttons, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Remember the hope. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, yes. There you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. Smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. All right. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist, dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You like him, I'm sure. All right. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. All right, that's awesome. Thank you. No, no pressure whatsoever. No pressure. How did he know to do that? All right. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? That's true. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Well, it was quick. I mean, he's probably dead on impact, so... If you're gonna go, that's how you should go. Quickly. Look at this beautiful... What a beautiful freaking world. So this is, uh... Oh, she's got a nice pooper. Look at that. So this is, uh... Oh, she's got a nice pooper. Look at that. Hey, these little... They're... They're not the most friendly. My sneak is terrible in this. But if you watch Firefly, the show Firefly and Saffron, she's extremely intelligent and likes to manipulate people, so that's why I wanted... Hmm, wonder what's cooking. Probably something delicious. Like camper stew. Pea soup. The awareness piece over the enemies that tell you if they're unaware, suspicious, investigated, or alerted. So what are they now? They're timid, so they're not gonna butt. Oh. Okay, let's... Let's scoot. They're timid, though, so I'm not too worried about it. And then they go with a exclamation point, letting us know. Uh, what the hell? Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. Yeah. Bound I got a bunch of fist sticks. Alright, so I can... I can slow time. Which is cool. It's like bats. It's more complicated bats. Though I love bats pinpointing their... Get lost there, little creepy... Let me just look at this game. Oh, I heard someone coughing. Coughing, hopefully they're not dead. If they're in their coffin. Oh, 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 oh. I hit the wrong button. I hit the button for Fallout 4. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? Hey, what's up? Hey, you, come here. You've tried the best now. <laughs> now try the rest. Spacer's <laughs> choice. Oh, All right, sit still, I'll fetch you. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Okay. But, uh, how you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Adrena time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right <laughs> through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? I missed mine Just misfired barely this morning. by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Those, uh, keepers. Uh, what's this about marauders? Uh... What were you doing out there here? Uh, you're hiding in a cave block as you're as good as dead now. What are you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. 
Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. Hull That's a real good way to attract marauders. Yeah. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Hmm. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun and I'll go help. Someone grounded their ship illegal, I'll hunt them down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. I've got a better idea. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Okay, fair yeah, enough, thank you. You can have my saber, too, for patching me up and all. Cool. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. <laughs> okay. Okay, tell me where I am. You, you hit, hit your, your head, head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioners for a can of our famous Saltuna. Ugh. Can I, well, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti-Cleo or something? Anti-Cleo. Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Fair enough. I'm off. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, I'm gonna take that on ya. Gourmet. This is pickup tartar sauce. I'll go with Saltuna. And pre-sliced bread. Fast ration pill. See, a lot of these... Now, I, I hate comparing games, but it's the only way I can best describe this, that, um... This stuff is, um... This is... In regards to looting and everything, it's not, Oh! I didn't mean to do that. This is a dumbed-down... Version... Of Fallout 4 in regards to that aspect. Like, a lot of times in Fallout, you could pick these things up, or you can pick stuff up in here and break it down, and... They limit it to... They limit it pretty good. Stop. Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... <laughs> Alright. Now, before I go too far here, weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at any time by navigating the weapon and selecting weapon slot at the top of the screen. On the page, you can also inspect the weapons, compare them, flag them, or junk. As junk, or break them down for parts. Players with engineering skills can repair weapons on the screen as well. Take care of your TNL weapons, and they will take care of your enemies. Whoops. Alright. So for now, that's fine. I'll have these two. Armor management. To wear an armor or helmet on it, navigate the item and then select it. You can also manage your armor here. Break them down, inspect them, compare to other armor, tag them as junk, or drop them. Alright, we're gonna turn around so we can see her lovely pooper. There we go. And... Oh boy. Hibernation complications detected. Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation, or TTT, button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as to action. As to take action. You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly. While moving in attack, drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. And it's the right trigger button, which is the VATS button in Fallout 4, which I've hit it multiple times when I wanted to... Or not the VATS. Block or hit. I forget. It's something else, but it's not that. So, and I'm not comparing the game, it's the only way I can be like, well, this is what's happening. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll take the bit cartridge and light ammo. And that happens a lot. It just... That's what a glitch that I think it has. It's only taking it because I want to get as much money as I can. It will... Go dead. Maybe it's zero. Sometimes I actually see things you can take and it just disappears. So I don't know if it's a glitch or... It's because we decapitated someone. Uh, bunch of nanners. Mock apples. Mag pack. I really need those. Oh, here we go. Hacking and picking locks, your hacking and lock picking skills, help you get into places where you're not meant to be. Mag picks are used to break open locks, and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many mag picks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items used and speed up the process. It will take three. What the hell? I, I gotta test it out here. Oh, telescoping, telescoping staff. So. That being said, let's head back to and oh okay, that's kind of neat. All right, I didn't know what they were. Teleco telecoping? I can't say it. telescoping. I wasn't sure. Pick up fish sticks. Oh, delicious! 
just sitting out here, getting all warm, and, and yeah, so, and this is kind of neat. See how all the edges get dark? That means you're hidden, or pretty much hidden. As long as you don't move, they have a hard time seeing you, so that's kind of neat. I, I appreciate that. Rebuilt mining gear. Oh, bad move there. Alright. Bit cartridge. There we go. There's something you gotta remember, like, in a lot of these RPG type of games, when you use a gun, you get a certain type of XP for the gun, or you use melee weapons, you use it. I don't believe it works that way. I think it says general XP, and then you decide where you want to put it. So, that's fine by me, and um, I just got to remember that. Because I'm definitely more of a gunslinger than I am anything else, but I don't want to not put stuff in the melee. In case I get into close combat like that. Saffron. I was just watching the, the, the series, uh, Firefly, and man, it is so much fun. Um, I love that show. Um, I'm on the last episode of 14, because when I first originally watched it, it was only 13 episodes. I know for a fact it was 13, because what, what a way to end it on a 13th episode. Um... But, um, I, the 14th episode, I really don't like. It's kind of weird, and I think, um, Wash dies. Okay. Right. Hey, get over here before you get yourself killed. Hey, easy there, fart knocker. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Yeah. Call on that rung leech. Landing in a veil without using an official spacer's choice oh my God. landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation, so I hear if I don't pull up in the cave. Really? How is he? Um, he'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. Well, you're gonna have to deal with it. Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. Yeah? I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Yeah, you <laughs> coward. Do Space Patrol's guard back down from a challenge? I bet you could get those these monitors to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer. Don't worry. You sit tight. I'll handle it. Hey, buddy. Talk to the lieutenant. She's certified in customer service. Oh, that's the other little... It's not necessarily a glitch. Every time you want to talk to somebody, you automatically point your weapon at them. In a video game, that's probably just fine. In uh, real life, that would probably be a big issue. Fallout 4, you'd be able to pick this stuff. Or Skyrim type of thing, you'd be able to pick it. It's not. And... In a little way, I, I am, I would say, 25%, I'm a little like, damn it, I really wish we could do that. And then on the 75% level, I'm like, I think the graphics and everything run smoother because of it. Because people don't realize when you have an X amount of area and you have maybe 10 things that are interactive, that's fine. But if you make everything interactive, that's 100 things, 100 pieces of code. Like, it's just ridiculous. So I can understand why they did that. There goes nothing. <clears throat> Alright, so, 